It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick Bartolo. This is episode 1850, recorded Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. A toasty mess. On this episode of the Gizwiz, can you make a grilled cheese sandwich? in a toaster, also a way to keep all of your pots and pan lids organized, and the most expensive, cheap, crappy corner ever, next on The Giz Way. It's the same old show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is. Not a recording. Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. Excellent. Uh, excellent. Anything thrilling this week? I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. It's little... Wow, a non-logo shirt. What I happened? Know. Well, they're actually all little logos. It's a ton oh, okay. of tiny little logos. No, they're actually... Are they little cell phones? They're American flags. Oh, this is my, okay. Uh, okay. My 4th of July get up. Or oh, okay. I don't think I wore this, okay. but around that time I bought it. Um, so, yeah, I do. I have some sad news, and we won't what? dwell too much on it, but um, uh, I had a, a cat that passed away. It was really sad. Um, oh. Sella. Sella, my long haired cat, um, oh, passed God. away two days ago, and it was very. <laughs> it's been. You've. It's. I'm, I'm able to function now, um, but uh, but yeah, it was it was that's been. Oh yeah, no, that's hard. that's so. The thing is, they don't leave. I'm sure many days in the next two months, you're going to see the cat dot in or out somewhere. I I, <laughs> I'm convinced that they come back just to show you that just out of the corner somewhere. of your eye. Yeah. Yes, that they're somewhere. Yeah. Around, not they haven't they have not forgotten you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um so anyway, um I won't I don't this is a fun show, so I don't want to dwell too much on it, but uh but yeah, that's that's kind of been it's uh, taking up a good chunk of my week. Um oh is my that. gosh. So yeah. What about you though? I think you you probably uh, had a much better oh, week. Oh well actually uh I believe I sold my boat. <gasps> oh, uh, yes. And, and it's funny because Farallon boats are very popular in California because that's where they're built and they're named Farallon after Farallon Islands. Oh, and, uh, didn't know and it's also interesting. People do not read any copy that you put up about a boat. You know, I, <laughs> I have videos up there. I have photos. I have a complete description. And then someone would email and say, does it have a shower? And how many people does it sleep? Right. <laughs> and it's everything. Right. Anyway, this guy called up and said, I've been trying to buy a Farallon forever. Um, uh, and I, I'm, I'm going to buy this. Uh, I, I said, well, I'm in New York. He said, I'm in California. I said, <laughs> well, he said, wait well a actually, the price just went up 20%. Sorry, I just, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> if you want this so bad for years. I said, um, how are you, how's that going to work? And he said, um, I'll think about, I'll call you back. Yeah, call you back. how is said, that going right, to work? I'm going to come get it. Wait. He said, the trucking okay. company said they want $11,000 oh, to bring it here. my gosh. So he said, I have a trailer. I'll just come and get it. And he said, just so you don't sell it to anybody else, I'm going to send you $500 right now via Zelle. Which he did. Wow. Yes. Wow. This wasn't yes. the same guy that was like, I want to put a deposit on this boat, it, obviously. No, got no, 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 not, who, no. Not the one who who said, and I'll have you have a check by midnight. And uh, no, so. Yeah, Zell so. is, um, I, I assume, yeah. a little bit more secure. That is a, that is bank to bank through the app. Yes. Oh. Yes, absolutely. And he said, in the next week, I will get you a cashier's check for the balance. Wow. 
and he's going to he's drive your boat across. He's going to the drive. Country. No, no, he's got. No, he's going to drive up. He's going to drive. Yeah, uh, an empty trailer across this country, and then drive it back with my boat. Wow! And he knows all about Farallon. And he at said, that point, though, it will be his boat. <laughs> that's that is correct. That wow. Is, that, but that he's a, a huge fan of Farallon and of Farallon. He said the the uh, the plant is uh, forty five minutes from here, wow. and he said I, I told him if there's ever a Farallon for sale, call me up. And he said they call me in the morning and they said they had a, far a used Farallon for sale. He said I went there after work and they said oh we sold it at noon. So, oh my so god, they are hot sellers in California. Wow. So anyway, yeah, if this boat was in California, I could have easily gotten like uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollars more for it. But anyway, I got someone who's gonna love the boat. That's great. And, uh, that's so absolutely that, that, great. That, that, that is so almost that is kind of hilarious that he is so close to the factory, yet had to go <laughs> to New yes. York City to get oh, yes. one. Yes, and also wow. I did not know it. I said, well, when I was out there. There were just three guys building the Farallons. And he said, well, it's a it's a bigger place now. Maybe there are six to ten people. He said, but if you order a new one, uh, it's more than two years before they will build it for you, which makes it even harder to get a used Farallon. Right, right. That that raises the price of the of, of the one off lot. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. It's like That's when you okay. take a car off the lot and it loses value, unless <laughs> to get that <laughs> yes. car off the lot, it'll take two years to start them to build yes. it. Exactly, exactly. Wow. So that's, that's, that's exciting news. That is exciting. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And the other fun thing was, I just love how New York city works is they're going to repave this street, but they don't want to disturb daytime traffic. Right. So the hours for repaving streets in New York City are 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh. Okay. Oh. So they started uh, 10 after 11 p.m. Oh, the other man. night. Oh, no. But look at the equipment. I, I sent you a 30 second video of what was outside my window. Should I play the audio? Is it oh, yeah, yeah, play the audio. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, at 11.30? Yes. Well, it's not 11.10, they finished at 2.30. What is that, that thing doing? Thing. It's the Road Tech 2030 <laughs> with road paving technology. Oh my gosh, look, that thing has an <laughs> RX 900E in there. Look at That's that. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. That is, that, it, what? Okay, this keeps getting yeah. weirder and weirder. It's what is digging up the street, and oh. that truck driving on the other oh, side of the street is putting the, the broken concrete into that truck. Is that, like, I mean, dirt under there after it leaves, uh, after it's done? It, it almost looks like dirt under there. But, yeah, they I got a squeaky wheel. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, yeah. you have a squeaky wheel. And and Whoa. the reason I realized why they do it overnight is that then Con Ed came in the morning and they started digging. They wow. they dig from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. so that <laughs> you can have 24-hour noise all uh, in a right. row. Right, right. So anyway. there's no chance of sleep uh, while they're repaving <laughs> the road. You know, like I said, they stopped at 2.30, so it was perfect because I was just going to bed. <laughs> Man, holy moly, what a crazy device. I wonder, I really do wonder, is is there like a normal road equipment and then there's New York road equipment? <laughs> like, oh, that, that, that's, you know, that, that, that's interesting. There's country road equipment and city road equipment, <laughs> yes, you know? Yes. I, my guess is that the city tries to buy the most expensive thing they can find. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and right. if they promise that it can do it fast, right? Um, well, the plan was to get the cheapest thing, and then oh, the buddy Ed is the guy you know selling the thing, so you got to yeah. give Ed a little bit extra, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, but in God. like um, three weeks, we'll have 
all new sidewalks, oh, uh, all new nice. uh, streets, pavement, and uh, pavement, I assume. Yeah, exactly. See, around Dallas, the roads are concrete. And now, not all of them, but um, a lot of the roads are concrete roads instead of like asphalt roads, or um, you know. That, so, but but it, so everything is in conduits at at the side of the road then, right? Like in New York, everything is just under the street. Right. Um, so that's why after they paved the street, the telephone company comes and that's why there's so many manholes actually, so that they <laughs> right. can get down uh, into everything that's under there. They repave the street and that rips up all the cables and then everyone has to do their new cables and now there's little troughs <laughs> down the street. <laughs> that kind of how it's like. I um, mean, you know, I'm not exactly sure because um, I have, you know. Because you don't have telephone poles. I mean, Yeah, we don't have telephone is, poles. Everything is on the ground. down the street or not. I have seen, you know, patches where they dug up the street to get to one thing or another. Um, but, uh, yeah, not, not exactly sure. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Anyway. I guess let's uh, jump into some right, gadgets. So on on to some gadgets. Uh, here's gadget number one that's kind of unique. Did you ever hear of toaster bags? Uh, I thought I had bought several of their albums, <laughs> but it turns out that it's something different. Reusable toaster bags make a perfect toasted sandwich. No fuss, no muss. So the object here is you can make a grilled cheese sandwich in a toaster and then reuse the bag, okay? So, this is them. And what is more and more, no instructions whatsoever, because on Amazon it says, use in the toaster, use in the microwave. Uh, so they come in three sizes, and they look like parchment, but they also look like there's some metallic. I hope not too much metallic if we're going to try one in the toaster. Anyway, you know, you know us. We don't need no stinking instructions. Grilled cheese sandwich. How hard is that? Uh, let's see, we're going to do two pieces of cheese. Uh-uh. And we're going to do another piece of cheese. Uh-uh. And we're going to get some Dijon mustard. Uh -uh -uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, I like mustard. I like Dijon mustard. All right. And then we're going to put this on top. And then the bag. Now, it says that this is designed for wide mouth toasters. We ain't got no wide mouth toasters. <laughs> What about white mouth people? Let's well, see what we're going to do. Of course, we don't follow any instructions. All right. Okay, so we're going to use the oven in the microwave. The oven. The toaster in the microwave. Wow, I've never we're seen that. <laughs> oh, really? I've never, I've never seen a toaster in my room. Hold this down. I hope it lets the steam out. I have an idea there's going to be an explosion, okay? Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> Get the fire extinguisher ready. Uh, this is not going to be good, okay? <laughs> Toast, and uh, we'll do darker. We'll do that. I don't you, know. This microwave has to be on a six schedule warehouse. I've never seen a here. toaster microwave. Yeah, you never have. Yeah, yeah. It has. It, it, oh, roughly, no, it was in there for about hot. two minutes. I have and no idea. Seconds. Using his face mask to take it out. No, just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go in the kitchen. I can't, I think this made a sandwich. What? Oh, it did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the bag doesn't look... Oh, my gosh. You no, know, you, can, you can use the bag over and over. Yeah, you can barely oh. tell that it was used. 
You know what? This is very nice. <laughs> Who knew? That was great. So you know what? Just since we're doing this, we're going to make one in the microwave to see if that makes any difference. Okay, we'll use the same bag. Um, and uh, and I, I made this short. On it. I I did look. I finally found it online that it's uh, it seems a little weird. Neat. It says the bag is a combination Actually, of we're fiberglass so and basically, Teflon. Whoa. We're going to nuke this for... With a nonstick surface mm -hmm. everywhere. Huh. It almost reminds me of wax paper, but... The future. Yeah, but wax paper, you could... I, I mean, it, yeah, that it open, wouldn't that, stand that, by that the toaster. Is, yeah, it wouldn't survive the toaster, especially not looking... Let's just hope there's not a lot of... Looking like nothing happened to it. The microwave will blow up. Huh? We'll Teflon. Oh, oh. And Will it burn? No. Well, it showed a picture off. of the microwave on and the Dennis page. Dennis is saying it's probably only going to cook it on one side. I think he's right. I'm not sure it even cooked it on that side. <laughs> no, it didn't do anything. You know what? This is a... Yeah. Nah, this doesn't work. This is just a big mess. So I'm going to say I'm putting it here. Um, anyway, so if you want to make it in the toaster, it works great. In the microwave, that was just a big mess. So the one in the toaster is pretty good, okay? It's a little bit soggy now. I think maybe because we waited a few minutes while we cooked the other one. Uh, the one in the microwave is... <laughs> uh, it looks more like an odd installation than a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, it kind of needs to be but crisp. if you're in a hurry, a this is great. You can also... I saw someone online said that they make uh, a breakfast sandwich and freeze it. And then when they're ready to do breakfast, they just take it out and they do it in one of those toaster bags. Um, so they're really time saving and easy cleanup because there's no big mess. Everything is in the bag, which you can throw in the uh, washer, it says. A little strange. Take the sandwich out before you throw it in the washer. Just a tip <laughs> from the gizmos. Bye. That is uh, really it, cool. That worked way better than it, I expected. It really did. I mean, if you did it in a in a real toaster, it probably right. would be even better. It, right. That said, it's very funny. They they sort of missed pu putting a dash in here because on the front of the package it says, "A toasty mess, <laughs> free." <laughs> a toasty <laughs> mess free snack there. in just a few minutes. Exactly. You yeah, have to read is, it fast. Um, That's funny. But, you, oh, wow, this one said, I think the copy online says use the bag 50 times. This says 100 times on the front. And you get 20 bags for, um, did I put it? Did I put a link to the thing? I think oh, yeah, it was 20 well. bags for like 15 <laughs> bucks or 14 bucks. Yeah. There we are, 12, 12 for 10. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait, and we yeah. get a coupon. 5% off. Wow. So, wow. There you go. Yeah, wow. if you like grilled cheese sandwiches, which we do, this yeah. is a real easy way to make them. Yeah, yeah. And you just, and did you have any issue putting that in the dishwasher? Just. I didn't put it in a dishwasher. Oh. I just rinsed it in the sink because it's almost Teflon. Everything just rinsed yeah. off it really quick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, yeah. I think you have a gadget there. I, I, now I personally have never, have seen, never that? seen a microwave toaster combo. If anyone in the chat has before this moment seen a microwave toaster combo, let me know. Because I would suspect the default is no. No one's seen this before. Oh, yeah, um, no. When I, when I first, oh, there we go. There. Yeah, there's that's some actually, people in that's chat the microwave. Where, Oh, I have. My work has one, says Sims to Rachel. Currently um, unavailable. I, I guess it was not Never successful. seen such a thing. No, for, for, for an apartment, it's it, it's great. It only adds four inches to the yeah. width of the microwave, and you have another whole appliance. You can't use them together, obviously, but... That is uh, cool. That's great. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Uh, 
Cool. Toaster bags. Toast, toaster bags. Okay. Um, next is a mini. What the heck is it? And this is it. It's <laughs> time to play. Yolson. What the heck is it? Johnny Olson. <laughs> who's our first guest? Well, Dick, it's an da, artist da, da, from Manhattan, da, da, Dennis Wonderland. Da, 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 Dennis. Da, da. Yes. What the heck is it? What? Well, to me, it looks like a strainer of some kind, maybe for pasta. Oh, my gosh. It is a pasta <laughs> strainer. Much easier to use than using a calendar. Uh, Dick, it's a colander. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no wonder my pasta is so papery. I've been using, you don't know how many calendars I've ruined over the years. Okay, it is, let me find the box down here. This is, da 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 Kitchen Gizmo Snap oh. and Strain. I don't know why it's strain. It's not that heavy. No, they uh, mean you drain the pasta. Okay, the ultimate Hot strainer. strainer. All right. I like to have a lazy. We're going to go into the kitchen. Uh, cooking. The Disneyland. Not such a strain. And full. try it out. Uh, Instead of using a big colander, you can use this guy. All right. So, not even sure how it works. Uh, we're going to clip it. Clippy, clippy. There's two. Boy, this pot has a huge lip. Okay, all right, I see. All right, and isn't that amazing that I can't get it over this lip. Hmm? This pot's giving me a lot of lip. You're on fire today, Dicky D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the jokes. Right. So now it's not sitting properly, though. No, I think it is. I think the object Are now... Are you supposed to have a hump in the middle? Like is it what? Are you supposed to have a hump in the middle? Yeah, uh, I don't think it's it is. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. FR guy, I think, has one. He says clips on to well, almost that's any pot. good. Okay. Yeah, frying oh, pan. You can see this pot has a way wide lip, so be aware of that. It still works. But you have to work a little bit. On Amazon, it's just under twelve bucks, eleven ninety six. As we're recording this, there are more than sixteen thousand five hundred and seventy eight ratings, and I looked already; it got four and a half stars. So that's pretty amazing. Kitchen Gizmo Snap and Strain Strainer, and it comes in many colors. Oh, oh! I strained myself. That's very funny. Uh, uh, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would be so terrified. It would pop off. <laughs> as I'm like, oh, no. no. Ah, it, it, it took me 10 I... minutes to boil this water <laughs> and 15. To... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! um, well, it's not going to pop off that pot with that ridge around it. <laughs> right. Um, but it, it seems it seems uh, pretty sturdy, and it's certainly inexpensive. The great thing is, if you really have a small workspace, it's way easier to, to store than a, a big colander. Yeah, and and this seems it. like it would go into the washing machine way easier than Absolutely. a colander. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and then just store in a drawer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's eleven ninety six. But you can get it uh -oh. off of AliExpress for three dollars, three bucks, six oh. fifty. Six fifty, oh, okay. Six fifty. Oh yeah, but seventy three cents shipping. <laughs> that's they really they, that's, they really that's get you they there. Get you. <laughs> yeah. Where they really get you is that it'll arrive on in a month. <laughs> in a month. Okay. That's really well, where they get you. The pasta is going to be really dry by then. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's not good. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's it. Yeah, Snap and Strain. Uh, and the company, is, the original company, I think, is Kitchen Gizmo. A ton and of and reviews. A ton, ton, yeah. ton of reviews. And uh, number one in food strainer category. So people love it. That's good. Yeah, they that's do, funny. they do. 
Um, okay, and here's another gadget that, well, you'll see what I thought of this. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. In your kitchen, do you have on a shelf or in the case of oh my, my gosh, apartment yes. on top of the refrigerator lids for every conceivable <laughs> container and dish in a pile like this that you can never find the one you want? Well, then you need, I hope you need the, ta da! The Eucopia Container Lid Organizer, aka Storalid. Uh, all right, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we will. Uh, your one stop lid spot. Okay, women owned. All right, this is Storalid Medium. Uh, maybe I should have bought store lid lodge. Are Wait, there any instructions? I guess not. I guess it's sort of do what you want. All right. So we uh, um, boy, oh boy, these. Maybe I should, maybe I should look at some instructions. <laughs> oh, if you bend, it looks, I see. Okay, okay there it is. Right, so oh, there you go. I'm going to do bendy, this bendy, kind and of go. lid Once you get it. here. And if they go one inside the other, can I get three of them in there? Not quite. It seems right, very customizable. So I'm going to move this down it's one. great. Um, uh, all, right. all right, so these kind of lids will go there, and then I guess you do the same here. Oh, okay, you bend that in. All right, so the big red ones. I think I, I think I need more dividers. These can go there. You know, this is actually this doesn't work so bad. I'm not sure I'm installing this thing right, but bending them out. And then you open it up. And I think if we had more, that's all right. You know what? It's pretty good. This is not bad. Actually, you know what? This is great. <laughs> I saw that big stack of lids and I thought, well, this is going to be nothing. Actually, I wish they gave you more spacers. Oh, they do. Sorry, I didn't see these over here. Oh. They do give you a lot of these things. So, I think you get like I said, four of the little we guys. Don't need no stinking instructions. And one long one. You just, and and they make this uh, is the medium lid organizer. Red guys. I'm gonna put that in there. And snap that in. If it gets too frustrating, you might yeah. blow your lid. I'll put that there. Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I, I'm impressed. Because I thought I, that this thing was not enough. That was a lot of lids. All right, so let's take a look. 16 bucks. All right, you know what? 4.6 out of 5 stars for more than 21,000 people. And it cost 16 bucks. All right. It's from Eucopia. I've had some other stuff from Eucopia. I've had their Lazy Susan. Um, I mean, it's like you're just getting a big piece of plastic, but I think it works really well. That's it. I'm flipping my lid. <laughs> That's cool. And so you got the no, medium I, I, size. Yeah, the medium, and I it's back on the top of my refrigerator, but it is so easy to get the lid you want. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's really cool. Easily to cut you. Uh, they really they missed small, medium. an opportunity here, though. 
to have yes. large, medium, and lid all right there. Yeah, <laughs> lid all version. Wow. Of the, wow. Of Talk lid. about being on fire. <laughs> lid organizer. Little. Um, oh, that's very funny. <laughs> So, yeah, that's cool. I, I, I like that a lot. And, and I, it's something that I personally get kind of frustrated with my um, uh, my Tupperware is it comes out of the washer and, you know, it's just got that tiny amount of water still on it. And I don't want to slap the lid on it because then it just gets trapped in there. And yes. so I tend to, like, make two piles, one pile of lids and one pile of bases um, so that it'll, it'll get uh, dry. So this is great. You could just store all your lids in one spot. Yeah. I like yeah. that. And, and very and customizable. As I said, relatively inexpensive. Yeah. Eucopia. Eucopia. And the the medium stone. one takes stone. care of a lot of lids. That's great. That's great. In fact, I couldn't believe you ran out of lids. <laughs> you had yeah, more I, space. I know. I, 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 I'm buying more lids. <laughs> I just have all that. I just got to purchase slots. more lids. I got this this. <laughs> store a lid and we gotta fill yeah. it up exactly uh, very exactly. cool very cool uh okie dokie let's jump that in brings us to you know you don't need it <laughs> but you might want it at chad's crappy corner get it well this crappy corner is a little special i've actually had it sitting on my desk this whole time it's this, it's this little, little gadget right here. It's been attached to my computer, um, and I recorded a video about it. So let's, uh, let's okay. jump into the video, and all is explained. Hey, Diggy D. So we are back with another gadget for your gadgets. And this week, because Mo sent it to me, I am covering the Stream Deck. Now, this... Uh, is a, a little bit of gadgetry that is made to work with your computer and it can do a whole bunch of things. So it has uh, three by five, so 15 different buttons. Each one of these buttons is a screen. So you can change them around to whatever wow. you want. They can launch applications. They can do things inside of very specific applications. And I'll show you just a little bit of what it can do. So up on the computer, this is a program called OBS, and it is the program that I use to actually switch the Gizwiz. It's the one that uh, we use for the show. So these three buttons at the top are linked in with OBS. So if I go to picture over here, it will show the picture. This is the preview window. If I hit the take button, it will take the picture over to the other one. If I hit webcam, I'll see that in the preview. I also have another button to hide that webcam or show it again, and then I can hit take and it'll take it over. And then I can also do the same thing with the logo. And so I can switch between whatever I want over there. And then when I'm happy with it, hit take and it would go to the live stream. So that's just one version of this is as an application uh, or as a control surface for OBS, like a, a, a video switching surface. But maybe you don't wanna do that. Maybe you're just browsing uh, and listening some, some, to some music. So I hit the iTunes button, iTunes pops up. Uh, over here I have a folder. So this is uh, has more buttons inside of that folder. So if I hit that folder, you can see that it has switched to a multimedia layout. So if I hit play, I can turn up the volume. Writer, Dick Bartolo. This is episode 1,800. Um, mute, hit stop, and uh, it's all working fantastically. I can go back. So now let me show you what the uh, interface looks like. And this is one of the things that I think is very, very uh, powerful with this is that the interface actually works uh, pretty well. So these were the buttons that I had to control OBS. I can go over here. OBS Studio, this is one of the things that's built in, and I could add a button just by dragging it over here to start recording. Uh, or, let's say instead of that, I want a system button, and I just want a hotkey, and this, this will just, you know, hit whatever I want. 
So we can assign the hotkey by, you know, clicking in here and then hitting a button. So we set it to Y. We can do this drop down and let's just set it as the Windows button. But this little droid thing, that's not really exactly what I want. So I'm gonna hit that plus icon and I can change the icon to all the ones that it shipped with. Or if I don't like this, I can also click this little carrot and say create new icon. That'll open up a web page. And there you have this tool that you can use um, and it will allow you to build your icon, for, you know, so whatever, whatever you want. Maybe I want this little red background and then I want a basketball on top of it and I want the basketball to be over here. There you go. And then you could save this to your computer and use that as a button. Um, and then just like uh, I was showing before, I have this folder here so I can click in. All of these multimedia buttons I placed down myself. This wasn't just a preset, so I could scoot them all over if I wanted to, if I didn't like the arrangement. And all of that is actually happening in real time over here on the Stream Deck. So as I move a button, it will move at the same time. And the software, as you can see, is very, very powerful. So this is the Stream Deck Mark I. There is a Stream Deck Mark II. Uh, that with the same 15 buttons, but the stand is kind of integrated in, the cable is removable with USB-C, and the faceplate can be customized as well. It's funny is they cost the same amount at the moment, $150. Uh, and once again, Mo was the person who, who sent this to me. This is his used stream deck. So I do appreciate that a lot, Mo, and we're gonna use this on the show to switch the show. So $150 for the stream deck. They also make an XL version and a mini version with less buttons and more buttons, uh, depending on which version you get for more, more or less uh, money. So this is a very crucial tool. A lot of people, uh, like streamers, will use this to do all of their streaming stuff. You can mute your mic, you can turn up your volume, that sort of thing. Um, and then if you're not a streamer, you can, of course, use it to launch applications, pause and play music, and that sort of thing. So that is this gadget, which works with all of your gadgets. Uh, and once again, thanks Mo for sending that over. That's his used stream deck. Here it is on Amazon. Uh, lots of really, really, really good reviews. This one, the, the biggest difference is the, uh, the base down here is separate. And then if you look for the Mark II, which let's see if they have it in the related items. Doesn't look like they do. Possibly they have it up here in the, sometimes they show, there's a newer version of this device. Doesn't look like they do. Um, but uh, the, the newer one, oh, here it is, next gen. Uh, the newer version has the base integrated in. So you can't, it's not quite as changeable, but uh, it, it is a little bit more integrated. And the faceplate can be customized. And I think the face plates are like, uh, just like 10 bucks or something like that. So you can see, oh, I guess you save $5 by getting the older generation at the moment, 155, 145 versus 150. And then you can get a huge version. Uh, that one has a ton more buttons. It's four by, oh my gosh, trying to count here, six, seven, eight, four by eight there, that's 250 bucks. And then they also have a tiny little one, a six key one, if you just want a little baby stream deck. <laughs> um, so there you go. Uh, I, I have used a stream deck uh, personally on my Twitch streaming stuff for years. Um, it's really, really nice to switch to modes or to have it there to quick launch something. Um, so I've used it over there for a long time, but they, they aren't cheap. So I was never, uh, I never had one for the Gizwiz. Um, I haven't set it up yet for the show, but once I get it all set up, I'm definitely going to be using this. Currently I'm using, <laughs> this is what my current setup, is a, is a numpad <laughs> with stickers uh, that I hand wrote onto it. So this stream deck is going to be a very welcome addition to the show once I get it all integrated in with our, uh, our profile here. Um, so there you go, the Stream Deck. Did, did That's you have any, great. Have any that questions? is just great. Mo, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. 
Yeah, when he sent it on, he said, can you use this? And I sent it back. I said, I can't. But boy, I think Chad would be all over this. Yeah, and I am. I am. This is, this great. is really, great. really awesome. No, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. So let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Fun. Our viewer video is from Michael Prine. Did Perfect. I miss something? No, I accidentally clicked the intro again, so it started, oh, <laughs> started oh, singing. Okay. This is why I need a stream deck, okay? That yeah, problem there you go. There you wouldn't go. happen. Uh, so Michael Prine and I believe he is sending in a video for the first time. Uh, this is a video of a device I bought for the Y2K Nun event. <laughs> Remember when everybody was terrified when what the calendar was changing to 2000, right? Right. It was because and a lot of programs were written where, um, you know, it was 19 was assumed. So then the last two digits is 98, 99. And they were afraid that when it said zero, zero, these computers would think the world had ended. And, and yes. nuclear bombs would explode. And I, the... I knew of someone who said they were going to take their money out of the bank <laughs> in case all the bank computers went crazy. I said, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I think he only had $10, so maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> At that anyway. point, I would have left it in. Let's see if the yeah, glitch exactly. could help, you know? Yeah, yeah, Started exactly. with 10 ended up with a billion. Uh, what exactly. A... <laughs> uh, uh, so he bought this device for the Y2K Nun event. And this is the gadget. Here it is. Well, Dick and Chad, long time watcher, first time poster. I uh, dug out one of my uh, Y2K non event uh, devices that I purchased. This is a uh, free player, uh, it's a radio that winds up. And uh, it uh, cost me, I believe, somewhere around $100. Uh, I don't use it a lot, but it still works. Let's see if we can turn the radio on. And uh, back it winds in time. up on the side here. You can see it cranks up. Uh, it takes about a couple of minutes to wind it up all the way, and then it runs for about 30 minutes. Uh, they the made the uh, this radio, <clears throat> they also made a, a cassette tape player. Uh, not what? sure if they're still in business anymore, but uh, this is what I purchased. So hopefully this uh, video is adequate. Uh, name is Mike, I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, you guys have a good day and take care. Uh, I have a couple of what the heck is it possible gadgets that I'll be uh, posting later, and uh, the what's it's a gas was probably one of my favorite mads. Take care. <laughs> have a good day. That's awesome. That is so interesting that the, cr <laughs> the crank that the crank it's like spring loaded. It's you're not. <laughs> Cranking up a battery. No, you're... yeah, you're actually right. <laughs> yes. And the, so cool. um, I don't know if Mike knows this, but he could sell it if he wants because there are a ton of them on eBay for like 50 to 70 bucks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's, that thing retained its value. He said he got it for yeah. around 100. Yeah. That is not bad. Oh, that, uh, yeah. Looks like there's some newer versions. These versions all, of it, yeah. But there was definitely I, do they have one. The, do they have the crank cassette player? I can't believe that. <laughs> that is such a funny thing. Wait, I just have to crank up my cassette. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, and the spring's a little bad. So just cr <laughs> crank it a little extra, and then it'll all work out. Yeah, it runs a little fast, but that, that's all fine. That's fine. That is really, Oh, my really gosh. Fun. Um, so Michael, Michael said, I also have, 
Oh, well, Mike, this is, this is a slight problem. He said, I have stuff that might qualify for what the heck is it. There, It's not a full device, but parts and tools for, well, he's giving it away, for an IBM punch card machine. Um, well, the thing, the, the thing about the what the heck is it is that it's always a complete gadget, okay? You may have to use it with something, but it's never like a table leg or something that... <laughs> Yeah, so, it's not like, this is if you, the key that goes to the gadget that does this, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So if you show somebody the drum that's really part of the IBM machine, that wouldn't be fair because it's something you really wouldn't be seeing. It would be inside the machine. But uh, if you want to send us a video of the TI calculator, if it's like the first one, I've not seen that in like 30 years. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd uh, love something like that. In the meanwhile, you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And our thanks for being a first-time submitter. Yeah. Okay? It's so easy, uh, especially when you have a gadget like my cat, okay? An old gadget, and you don't want to throw it out because you use it <laughs> once a year. Or you just thought, wait a minute, maybe there'll be 3K whatever it is um make a little video okay horizontal just make sure we can see the gadget and hear it the way mike did and put it on youtube you can click unlisted so only people with the url will be able to see it send us that url and it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv uh we're showing 99 percent of all the videos okay uh, mail at gizwiz.tv and you will get the current issue of mad if you live in the u.s and most likely canada i've been sending issues to canada most of them are getting uh through so if you live elsewhere i'll take a now 40 year old alfred e newman photo autograph it with your name and my name and send you a high-res image so you can print out wherever you are elsewhere in the world. Okay, mail at gizwiz.tv. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now, okay, I had no idea that Chad was doing uh, Mo's device because our email is from Mo, very short is here's a gadget, uh, a Kickstarter project, and it's about a gadget that we talked about many times and several viewers have made their own version of this. So take a look at the Kickstarter program. The bird So bird. it is the uh, a smart bird feeder. Now, uh, who knows how to translate pounds? Look at how much money they've taken in. Oh, uh, huh. Four... It, what four million one hundred <laughs> more than four million pounds thousand one hundred and fifty eight pounds that's got to be millions of dollars right oh yeah you'd think you'd think it, unless if that's like is that a, here I'm googling oh whatever yeah it baby is. yeah what what symbol is that crispy bacon is that symbol euros crispy bacon is saying four point oh, one euros is the euro symbol that's that's but look at that, 4.9 million U.S. dollars for a bird feeder! That is just a wise cam and a bird feeder combined. That, wasn't it uh, Jeff and Adam made their own? And this is, to me, a little pricey. Go down if you want to buy one. of It's not shipping till June of next year. Oh, that's a, oh uh, thanks for the them, smartphone app for $20. Oh my um, yeah, 140 them, bucks. That's the that's special of offer. Money. There's still 500 yes. left, but that's the special offer. Early bird is 150. <laughs> See what they did there? Uh, oh, and that's not. Oh, that's very good. And then there's a ton of left of those. And then the standard. So if you miss any of the specials, it's 180 euros. I don't, this doesn't make sense. This does not make sense. There's, no, I have a wise cam over here. Here we, we have so many people who have birdhouses who are just putting their wise cam out front. 27 bucks. $27. Cheap. That's a, <laughs> I don't get it. Bird, bird talk. 
Uh, oh, chirp, I guess. Twenty-seven dollars, chirp. Chirp, chirp. Yeah. Wow. Um, we're missing the boat here. I mean, I mean, maybe uh, we could do this. Maybe and, it we comes just... with the. Maybe it comes with the birds. <laughs> we just need a seed round of funding, um, and then <laughs> we could have this made. Bird buddies are sold out until June 2022. This is Scooter X saying, I didn't see this. However, we have a special Easter eggs uh, on our website where you, where we randomly open a secret stash and offer them for March 2022 shipping. For oh. March 2022. Oh my God. No, no. No, I don't. I refuse. I refuse to believe that they are a this expensive and b this in high demand. This thing is weatherproof. It's twenty seven bucks, and then just attach it to any bird feeder. I don't get it. What what am I missing? Uh, is Scooter X is that the the website we're at now? My bird buddy. Or has he found a different one? I think he's on the Kickstarter, would be my guess. On the Kickstarter? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. Here, let me confirm this is 27. Yeah. Why is I it version 3? think that that is really... Uh, okay, so I was a little bit off. <laughs> I was a little bit off. It's twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. So it looks like it might be... Uh, shipping is $5. Yeah, $5, it? something like that. Mm -hmm. So... $35. I was a little bit off. 35 bucks. Go down to Home Depot and buy a bird feeder. <laughs> and to screw and screw this thing onto the bird feeder. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I have to be missing something. Does this camera have bird AI intelligence so it can, it can detect the bird? Like for bird watchers? Like if you oh sir oh maybe it does bird translations because maybe. it says it's a go between. That's what I need. Uh, apparently, what is and that the app. Who ever heard of paying twenty dollars for the app? <laughs> yeah, that's one in-app purchase. Without them flying away, is it that the camera's like stellar? Like is the is this camera like the best camera ever? Well, it's not hidden. I mean, the birds can see it. I don't. I don't really want to play this video, but I feel like <laughs> I'm, I'm too curious. Well, it looks like I can't play the video, so <laughs> jokes oh, on okay. me. Oh, there it here goes. we go. My dad okay. tells me he's seen them all. He's showing birds, blurry photos of birds. birds, song sparrows, but pics, or it didn't happen. He's yet to secure any solid proof of his graceful visit. Okay, so this is, they're really focusing on the bird photo Surely aspect. His neighbors think so. He doubles, no, triples. Heck, he okay, I can't stand the story. It is easy for yeah, to view it, it's and share just with ridiculous. See how pretty it is? <laughs> Not $180 pretty. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> and just look at my chirpy father. He's more excited than ever. Now he can rely on Bird Buddy to make the perfect shots he always seemed to miss. Unlocked your Are you camera. a bird lover too? Okay, I, I'm done. I'm done. There, there, there's oh obviously some market that loves this thing. <sighs> uh, not us. Not us. Not us. <laughs> Just looking at the... Um, the pledges, 800 people did one euro. 28 people just bought the app. <laughs> <sighs> um, oh, maybe, maybe, 12, maybe for $20, yeah. the app lets you look through someone else's camera. <laughs> maybe. <That was> 12,000 <laughs> people have backed the holiday special. 12,000 people. And then... Uh, 700 people paid more. Uh, uh, 200 people just don't love money. They're just, just throwing it away. 
1,100 people wanted two of them. Wow. <laughs> Bird brain investors, says my <laughs> guy. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, um, and that's, that's incredible. A, that's absolutely. We choose to do what we do and stay poor. Incredible. Apparently, that's, we're just, just, that's our destiny. Um, well, thank you for that letter. Also, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com yes, slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for your support. You guys are incredible, amazing. We really appreciate you guys giving generously to the gizwiz every episode. Incredible. Thank you so much. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you don't want to give via Patreon, you can give via PayPal over at gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and there's a PayPal link on the website. However you give back, just want to say thank you so much for your support. It is absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, coming up, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, ask the patrons again, what do y'all want next month? We are recording next week's video, or next week's episode early on Monday. That schedule change is on the website, gizwiz.tv, uh, at the top of the page, if you forget exactly what's going on. So we'll be live on Monday, but if you want to watch the show live, do so at gizwiz.tv. And uh, this is just a great thumbnail here on, the, um, on that live stream. Uh, love that, love that thumbnail. Uh, so you can watch the show live, join the chat room, chat along with all your favorite people, or uh, subscribe or watch any of the old episodes there on the website. Um, while you're on the internet, head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Dickie D's website about the show. He writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about. So if you're ever wondering, what was that that they mentioned, head on over there. You can also play What the Heck Is It, the official What the Heck Is It. And uh, this is what you're trying to guess, this gadget right here. This is the whole gadget like we mentioned before, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. This is everything. So if you think you know what this is, get a guess and... Um, this is uh, obviously a, uh, a throne for a spider. Uh, so you can see all those mm. spider legs mm. popping out the bottom there. So if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>